It appears that volcanic activity at the Taal volcano in the Philippines is increasing and this might result in a new volcanic eruption with possibly little or no warning. Of course, an eruption might also not occur. Beginning on January 8th of 2023, the number of daily volcanic tremor events at the active Taal volcano increased by more than 10,000% when compared to the average number of daily events during the prior two weeks. In other words, whereas between December 25th of 2022 and January 7th of 2023, only a total of four volcanic tremor events occurred at Taal. Yet, from January 8th onwards until January 17th of 2023, each day has seen more than 100 volcanic tremor events occur. Additionally, during the same time span which had more than 100 daily volcanic tremor events occur, the persistent plume of steam and volcanic gases which has risen from Taal's central crater lake has increased in average height by approximately 21%. Per a direct quote from a U.S. Geological Survey webpage, tremor is a continuous high-amplitude seismic signal that can be caused by multiple processes, including long-term resonance due to extended flow of magma, movement through cracks, continuous occurrence of VT or LP slash LF events that are so closely spaced in time that they can't be visually separated, and explosions. Based on the present observations at the Taal Volcano, we can for the most part rule out underground explosions as the source of the volcanic tremor events. Thus, regardless of which remaining possibility describes the cause of tremor events at Taal, there is a decent probability that magma or other fluids, aka water heated by magma, is moving underneath the island. Supporting this assertion is that for the last several months, a section of Taal's southeastern central island has been slowly uplifted despite the fact that the majority of the surrounding caldera is undergoing long-term deflation. Magmatic uplift is quite common at volcanoes before an eruption occurs, although these uplift episodes can continue for years without an eruption ever occurring. My interpretation is that if an eruption was to occur in the short-term future, it would most likely originate in the southeastern portion of Taal's crater lake. However, I have also noted somewhat suspicious activity slightly west of Taal's crater rim on its central island, so in my opinion, theoretically, another volcanic eruption could also occur there, although this possibility is less likely. Despite the highly suspicious increase in volcanic tremor which has occurred at Taal, I must note that for an unknown reason, this volcano is absurdly difficult to predict. Taal has sometimes seemingly erupted when a decreased rate of sulfur dioxide was released compared to prior days, and on other occasions it has even erupted with very little warning signs beforehand. While volcanoes are unpredictable, the nature of the Taal volcano takes it to another level and makes it incredibly difficult to predict. Thus, despite it looking like Taal might produce a phreatomagmatic burst within its crater lake during the next several days, all of this activity could end without an eruption ever occurring. Interestingly, the amount of sulfur dioxide gas released from Taal, with sulfur dioxide amounts heavily correlating with the amount of shallow magma present, is indeed high, but has not increased greatly since a number of volcanic tremor events increased to over 100 daily events. Because of the tremor events, another phreatomagmatic eruption could occur with little or no warning. As a final note, several other volcanoes within the Philippines are at a non-zero alert level in addition to Taal. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.